Hi, Shep. Well, Broadway has been shut down since the pandemic began, and the reopening of theaters like the August Wilson behind me is highly anticipated. But when the doors finally open again for a new season in just a few weeks, there will be new restrictions in place for everyone who walks through those doors. The Broadway League represents the owners and operators of 41 theaters on Broadway and says proof of vaccination against COVID-19 will be required for all performers, backstage crew, theater staff, and audience members. Masks will also be required for the audience except when eating and drinking. Children under 12 who won't be eligible for vaccines just yet will be required to show proof of a negative COVID test. There will be some exceptions for religious reasons and medical conditions. The president of the Broadway League says she has no concerns that this will turn people away. And in fact, she thinks it will do the opposite. What I've been hearing all day long uh, is how many people will now come that weren't coming because we didn't have this policy. We don't want to make any of our audiences unhappy, but we've said from day one and continue to say the safety of our cast, crew, and audience is paramount. Broadway coming back to life also means a return to work for so many performers and musicians who have had to find other work in the meantime. Victoria Patterson is a violinist who's been in the orchestra for shows like Moulin Rouge and Phantom of the Opera, and she says she can't wait to play for a packed house. I've been playing on mountaintops, outside, piers, but we don't, we can't play outside forever. And we, we need to be in these amazing theaters. New York is such an amazing space, these incredible halls. So let's do it safely. I think it's, a, I think it's great. The Broadway League says these mandates will be in place until at least October 31st, but could review that decision before then. Other venues here in the city, like Carnegie Hall and the Metropolitan Opera, they're adopting similar restrictions, but taking it a step further and saying children under 12 just won't be allowed at those venues. Here in the city, Mayor Bill de Blasio says he plans to announce new plans for mask rules sometime next week. Shep Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.